Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, dear subscribers and passers-by. This is Mass Effect 3. I am Zar. And we're connecting to the... No! I don't want to connect to any EA servers. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so, background story, real quick. SimCity sucked, so they gave us a free game. I chose this one, I didn't really want any game, but I figure I always wanted to try Mass Effect 3. I'm a little late to the party with this one. I, I'm, I, don't, I don't even know when it came out, like a year ago? Uh, and uh, But I did love the first one, and the reason I didn't play... Or I played the second one a little bit on PlayStation, some of you might have heard me talk about this before. Uh, I tried it on PlayStation, I can't control anything with controllers, so I gave it up so after completing like 10% of the game. Um, I always wanted to try the third one on PC. I, I felt with the th second one that I had oversimplified it a little bit in order probably to make it viable for consoles. Um, but yeah. So we're going to try this one, since I have it. Uh, do a couple of episodes anyway, see if if I like it, if you like it, and we'll continue if we do. Uh, I'm very curious to see what they've done with this. The first one was a fantastic game, I maintain that. It was one of the absolutely best games I have ever played on anything. Uh, but we don't know what the third one is like, and it has received a lot of criticism for its ending. That's really all I know about it. And I did before we started, I went in there and downloaded all the free DLCs. One of which was an, uh, not an alternative ending, but like an expanded ending that I'm guessing is in response to the criticism of the, the ending that was. So this might be better, it might be worthwhile. We'll try it out, we'll see how it goes. Tell me whether you like it or you don't. And, uh, let's see. Select the type of experience you would like to have. You can change these settings. Blah, blah, blah. Action, role-playing, story, what the... Jump right into your action as the iconic Commander Shepard. Combat difficulty is adjustable. Conversations, play, uh, cutscenes. Role-playing, traditional Mass Effect experience. Customize your character and choose dialogue responses. Combat difficulty is adjustable, okay. Customize your character. Experience and control the interactive story without difficult. Role-playing then, weirdly enough. We want the traditional style, we want to be able to make choices. Select. First name, not John. See, this is my thing with the John thing. John or Jack, in everything. Why is all heroes has to be named John? It's starting to annoy me. Um. Well, that sounds weird, but they're only going to use <laughs> Shepard anyway for everything. Enter name. Oh, looks. Do I have to do I choose that now? No, oh, enter name. Alright, so probably we're going to be messing around with the face in, in a lot of this episode. <laughs> Custom. Uh, select. Cycle, 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 cycle. I see it, I still haven't... What What really, the only thing that really disappointed me in the first one was that... Uh, the hair and facial hair was terrible. It was just like painted on. Seem to have done a little better now, but not much. The thing is, I can see exactly how they did this. It's still just painted on. It's not, like, facial hair is not extended facial hair, it's not extra models, it's, um... Ah, I've, I've played around with this in school a long time ago, this, this method of doing it. Presets. Do you have any presets? Why can't I use, like, the default faces of presets? Because all these other ones looks halfway retarded. Okay, we're gonna make a... Uh, actually, you know what, let's get started on this whole thing. I'll I'll do this myself, and I'll include you shortly. Bang! Back! There we go! That's a handsome fella. Got some red hair on him. Some... I don't know, army-ish. He looks pretty masculine, and sort of 
strange also. Yeah. That's our guy and that's how he's gonna look like. That's uh, actually pretty close to what my character looked like in all the other versions of the game too. So what are we going for? Oh yeah, it was this class systems again. Um, soldier, Infiltrator, Vanguard, Sentinel, Adept, Engineer. Which one had the shotgun? Mm. Throw shot was a bit of a let's go ahead. Sentinel? Let me read these. Let me read these guys first. Okay, there we go. Vanguard is the one. Vanguard is the one I like. It's the one I played in the first one. <laughs> so basically they are, uh, out of all of them, soldiers, the, you know, you're a soldier. Tough guys. Can do anything. Infiltrator, the sneaky, sniper, stealthy guy. Vanguards. I'll go to in a second. The Sentinels. I uh, didn't actually read this. So good. What is it? Sentinels are unique, bringing both tech and... Oh yeah, okay, so they're the tech and biotic combo people. Um, Sentinels are equipped with an advanced shield that makes taking cover much less necessary and rushing their enemies much more productive. This armor system can also be that much to blast near... Oh, okay. Throw, warp, lift, grenade, tech armor, overload, cryoblast. Adept are those bio people, engineer is the tech people. So Sentinels is basically a combination of an Adept and an engineer. Vanguards are feared for their high risk, high reward combat style, closing quickly on enemies and destroying them at short range with weapons and biotic abilities. They are outfitted with an LN5 implants, enabling them to perform a biotic charge that strikes the opponent with incredible force while bringing the Vanguard in for close range combat. Incendiary ammo, cryo ammo. Uh, biotic Charge, Nova, Shockwave and Pull. The, this is the run in, make a mess, hope to survive kind of class and I like that. So we're gonna choose that. It's basically like a Fury Warrior, I guess. <laughs> so, Spacer, Colonist, Earthborn, where are we? An Orphan. Like this is gonna be a little bit, little bit of story. It's probably gonna be a whole shit ton of episodes if you can complete it. Um, gonna make a lot of them um, so I guess we have to be in the story There's very little gameplay in this first episode I apologize for that but we should get into it the correct way spacer both of our parents were in the Alliance military or child blah, 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 blah. okay so I was in a army kid in space colonist uh, you were born and raised on Mindoir Mindoir a small border colony to the Attican Traverse. When I was 16, la 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 la. I was enlisted in the military Earthborn. I was an orphan. Of course I'm an orphan. All heroes are orphans. Select. Soul Survivor, War Hero, Ruthless. Hmm. I think we're gonna play the evil style. We're gonna be the Ruthless. Uh, please indicate which best describes your experience with significant combat loss. Oh yeah, this was from the first one, I believe. Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. I think this guy is... I think I chose to kill this guy in the first one and I played a certain similar class because he was the closest to the class that I was playing. So I didn't need that guy. Um, yes, so we're gonna kill him off. This is basically a thing that has, has happened in previous games right now, in the previous part of the story. Um, this is the third and final, I believe, of the series, this game. Yep, Ruthless, Vanguard, Lost Kaidan Alenko, born on Earth, Czar Shepard. Go, 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 go. Oh, hmm, choose enter the community. Yes, enter. Let's see some video. Yeah, yeah, you present. Go for it. 
This was Bioware pre Star Wars The Old Republic online bullshit game. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. Actually, There's something I massive on long range scan. Pretty much the same time, I guess. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, we should have prepared more. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected. But it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Admiral? Come on. You know the commander? I used to. She used to indeed, if I recall correctly. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. 
The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. Hmm... Didn't there used to be like some sort of thing that indicated which of this is like the evil option? Stand together, survive at any cost. Hmm... Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? They're Sir, Reapers. UK How'd they get visual? past defenses? They're freaking Reapers! Have you not been paying attention to them destroying half the universe in the previous two games? <laughs> from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? Probably I'd just go there and one the man only them. Thing we, can. we fight yeah. or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Normandy versus Reapers. Good odds. <sighs> well, it has worked in the past, actually. It's a shame I don't know really what happened in the second game so much. Whoa! Whoops! Reaper on Earth. That's impractical. Why am I always knocked out in the beginning of games? Shepard! Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. So Reaper was obviously just happy to sit there now. There's one last, then done. Strangely, as their mission is to eradicate all life in the universe. But I'll take it. Oh. Oh, 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 come okay. on, Ash is headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's okay, move. Press V to display objectives. Okay, not entirely done the Reaper over there, it seems. So, for those of you who haven't played the games at all, well, basically the Reapers are some sort of ancient robot race, technological race. They are machines. They're a machine race, okay. And every so and so many thousands of years they come back from hiding somewhere far away in the universe to destroy all biological life in the universe. So that's basically their mission. And they've been showing themselves more and more throughout the previous two games. I played the first one full out, the second one not so much. Uh, in the first one they used sort of other races to do it for them and barely revealed themselves except in like, a, like small bits and pieces here and there. We discovered they were behind it essentially at the end of the first one. Second one I don't know what happened so this will be a little bit of a... I'm not sure basically. But that's the... that's the shit of it gist of it. Follow Anderson to the spaceport. That's what V tells me. Okay. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I didn't see. Can I? Did? Okay, I can't fall down. Good. Let's move. Well, you can shift to pause and do things. Okay, cool. I'm so used to 
Uh. Oh. How do you stop something so powerful? Shoot it with a pistol? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Is that the only skill I have? Take a running jump. Oh. It's farther than it looks. Hold space for it to leap across. Let's go! Okay. I just activated some. Come on, let's go! Away. Pistol there. Oh. This will be interesting. Keep moving Come forward on. to climb the ladder. We'll have to go this way. So this is the tutorial, I guess. Looks clear. Let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me. Oh, okay. Heavy fire. Husks! Take him out! Oh, mouse and aim to fire. Shoot him! One of those kind of things. So. You haven't forgotten oh, how to shoot Oh, sort of. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. Oh. Where did he go? Down here? Where are you, Anderson? Oh, what are those things? I haven't seen those before. Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. What old-fashioned way? Melee? Yeah, well, not so tough. Okay, so there's some sort of robots. Hello. Don't let him grab you. No, they, they didn't even try. Oh, maybe he got angry. Oh. <laughs> you would think you had a stronger weapon considering he just leveled half the town that I can dodge that beam with a few here. meters no ammo there's something how do I use it open E shift oh. uh, how do I how do I open enter Q, W, E, uh, Try all buttons, kind of open. I want to open... Huh? What did I just do? Space, maybe? Oh, okay, yeah, there is space. <laughs> Good. Is there anything else here? A door. What? Watch it. Get out of there. <coughs> yes. Do this Come way. on, Anderson. Oh. Oh, hello. It's okay. Oh. Everyone's I think dying. I see uh, <laughs> evil point coming out. Come on, you've got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Well, if I had a choice, I wouldn't help him, because we're going to play it evil. It's, it's really hard to play it evil sometimes. Ah, this is a goddamn mess! I didn't really get the choice, though. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. 
We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Alright, so... Citadel is a big floating space station, sort of like Babylon 5, <laughs> where all the races have representatives and some of them are more representative than others, so to say. They have like the council, consists only of a few select races. Humans in the first game were not part of that council. Uh, at the end of it, they were because of our actions. Take. Reload. Let's keep moving. Uh, and uh, Shepard here was granted status as a Spectre, basically like a 007 of the universe you can do whatever you want license to kill uh, and then but those Come council on, people are just bureaucrats and making a lot of trouble and are generally a pain to deal with well hello lieutenant commander williams we're in sight of the spaceport okay ETA three minutes we made it to the normandy taking heavy fire oh god they're gonna take down that dreadnought evasive maneuver isn't there like oh i can lieutenant commander Got sprint? Oh, okay, there we go. That's better. That was slow. So space to space does everything in this game. Oh, a little tired or no? Okay. Well, that's not exactly a shortcut, though, is it? Normandy, we're going to reload. Do you copy? Friendlies. Hello, friendlies. There's ammo. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Oh. <laughs> Strange bio people. Keep your head down. Nice shot. So we have a cover mechanism. Hello. Let's use a special. Finish them all. Nice burning. Shepard, over here. Over where? Okay. But there was some ammo here, Anderson. Let me pick it up first. Am I full? I'm full. I have all the ammo. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. What's up here? What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Okay. Well, get on. Can we save here? Excellent. We can. This is all we have time for in the first episode, guys. Not so much gameplay in the first one. Um, it's going to be one of those quite story based series, which I haven't really done on the channel. I like this game though, uh, so far. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look further. Uh, let me know what you think. Suggestions, tips, not spoilers. I'm guessing a lot of you has already played this game. It's not, it's not new in that sense. Not brand new like most games that we play, with the exception of Minecraft. I'll see you for the next one, hopefully. Take care. Bye bye.